A beginning is the time for taking the most delicate care that the balances are correct. Welcome to Peppers and Glowworms, a channel dedicated to hot chili peppers and coldly glowing glowworms. <coughs> <coughs> Well, now, uh, last night I had an idea, one might even say a vision, perhaps, um, to try something different on my channel. Uh, up to now it was uh, mostly based on glowworms and chili peppers and some other mostly nature and animal plant related stuff. Um, I had in my mind to do something about fictional universes and I was already writing something regarding the Alien franchise but I was uh, kind of bitter about this uh, after the last few prequel movies um, and so now I decided to do something about you because right now it's uh, basically almost exactly a year since a part two of this new uh, movie adaptation will uh, probably come out so um, I think um, this is a good time to start rereading Dune. And it's been quite a while since I read any book at all. So uh, why not read it with some strangers on the internet? This might uh, help me get back into it. Uh, my history with Dune is uh, basically I enjoyed the David Lynch movie adaptation as a, a you in my youth, I guess you could say. Um, later I watched the TV miniseries adaptation and I enjoyed this uh, quite a bit. Then there was the TV movie uh, series um, Children of Dune, which was this weird conglomeration together with uh, Dune Messiah, or Messiah of Dune, and um, I enjoyed this also quite a bit. And um, some time later I found a, a movie tie-in book, uh, kind of crappy quality with uh, some uh, bad translations and some parts were apparently skipped I guess but this was my very first Dune book and then I uh, bought the rest of the classic uh, Frank Herbert series uh, in the German translation again read this enjoyed it very very much and once again a few years or well, yeah I guess years later I found uh, one of those prequel novels by the uh, by the son of uh, Frank uh, Herbert and uh, some other author. Um, I think it was House of Trades. Uh, I read this. Well, it was um, enjoyable, I think. And uh, then I started buying all those prequel novels um, in the English original and read them and enjoyed them. Although I found some things quite irritating, but overall. It was a fun read um, and then uh, I was quite hyped up about these uh, sequel novels to Dune again by the same authors as uh, these prequels. I um, enjoyed the first one and the second one for some time but near the end uh, mm, no I was somewhat disappointed by this how it all ended in my mind uh, I imagined the end to be much more spectacular and not... Uh, uh, let's not get into it. Um, but now, uh, after watching this uh, new movie adaptation, I am uh, somewhat satisfied with the franchise again. And now it's time to reread Dune, I guess. And uh, quite fitting, the book that I found um, and bought, uh, I think a few weeks ago even, uh, and didn't uh, start reading. Is again a tie-in to this latest movie adaptation, so it's quite fitting. And I will read this chapter by chapter, each chapter one video, and you can read along if you want. And I will make some categories, uh, give, give a brief summary of what's happening in the chapter. I will give the chapter a name and a number, because <laughs> in the original book it just has an in-universe quote at the beginning from some li in-universe literature or um, history and um, then I will pick my own quote from the actual chapter and I'll um, discuss 
what I found intriguing about the chapter, what I like or dislike. Um, I will have a special category since it is peppers and glowworms. Uh, I will do some kind of drinking game without the drinking. Um, I will um, consume something hot every time, a, a little spicy uh, chili pepper or chili pepper powder. Uh, every time the sandworms of Dune are mentioned in uh, mentioned by name uh, in any stage, you know, uh, Shai Hulut, uh, Maker, uh, Old Father Eternity, Shaitan in the later novels, I guess, um, and even uh, also the other life stages like the sand trout or these little sand microbes, sand plankton, I guess they call it. And for each time uh, this organism is mentioned by name, I will consume one chili pepper or one uh, little spoon of uh, hot powder or hot sauce or something. And you can uh, do this as well. I will give you the count the, of the worm signs that I spotted in the chapter. And uh, you can consume something hot as well. Or if you're not into that, you can also consume maybe a spicy liquor. There are some uh, some cinnamon flavored ones or something. What, whatever, uh, is, uh, floats, whatever floats your boat, as they say. Um, yeah, and also I will have a little uh, category, I guess, from other memory, where we'll go uh, into more detail um, uh, regarding other franchises or sci-fi uh, franchises, where they most likely borrowed something from Dune or were inspired by Dune. Uh, I think it's mostly will mostly be in that direction, not vice versa, but uh, we shall see. And um, yeah, I think that's my plan so far something else or I don't think so so far so uh, this is what I'm uh, trying to do I will release this uh, chapter by chapter uh, they're not reviews but just uh, a kind of book club I guess um, yeah I will put, make a release schedule to uh, trying to coincide with the release of this uh, part two of the movie adaptation of Dune um, and we shall see should be quite some fun i guess i hope and uh, the sun has come out which is quite nice and yeah this is uh, the biggest local dune i could find <laughs> but the sand is wet so i can walk with rhythm there are no sandworms So I'm already on my way back and I realized that I was in such a good mood that I completely forgot about me trying uh, to read the Interquel novels. Um, I read uh, some sample chapters of Paul of Dune and didn't like it. Um, it was kind of tedious to read and I didn't bother with those novels anymore. But, uh, like I mentioned, the new movie adaptation has given me new hope for the franchise. And we shall see. 